Episode number six of the Proof of Stake Experiment, season two, we've been staking 11 different cryptocurrencies and invested $250 in each of them to find out which one stakes and profits the most. If this is the first time you're watching this episode, then I suggest you go back to episode number one and rewatch the whole entire series. And before we check our wallets, let's have a look at what's happening in the crypto markets. So markets today are getting wrecked. We're at a total market cap of 262 billion, which is down 6.6% and a BTC dominance are still very high at 68.51% and a total volume of 92.18 billion percent. So what does it look like in the past 24 hours? Well, Bitcoin actually went down below 10,000 and I can show you here it actually dipped to around 9695 that was the lowest dip and now it's slowly rising back up so if you picked up some Bitcoin around here congratulations you've already made a little bit of money already and why is there so much and Ethereum is down about 11% XRP down about 10 10% everything's in the red at the moment following Bitcoin's steps. So have a look at the seven day chart. We're down about 15%. Ethereum is down about 18%. Ripple is down about 14%. Everything's down in double digits. Mostly everything is down double digits at the moment. So what could be the reasons? Well, there is a bit of FUD going on. So new IRS warning letters target crypto investors who misreported trades. So the IRS is sending another round of warning letters to cryptocurrency users, this time to taxpayers it believes to have misreported income from exchange transactions. So people who made lots of dollar during those uh, crypto bull runs, the IRS wants some of it back. So this could be uh, a little bit of FUD, however, I'm not too sure if it's really this or it could be also Coinbase uh, the banks that used to be linked with Coinbase in the UK so Barclays are no longer supported banking with Coinbase anymore and as soon as that happened Santander also said we're gonna block all trading with Coinbase so we're now left with only a few banks that would support Coinbase at the moment I believe but Barclays is a really big, really big bank, lots of lots of customers, and so on and there. So that could have contributed to some of the FUD. And in other news, Binance Jersey are giving away 10 euros for every sign up they receive. The requirements are you have to have a European passport or form of ID. You must also complete the KYC process and you need to use the link below. So 10 euros for about six minutes worth of work is definitely worth it. And this also applies for fellow UK citizens as well. We still haven't left the Euro just yet and they support Euro and GBP sterling options as well. So we're gonna start off with looking at Stratis and we have no stakes for Stratis right here. Next up, we're gonna have a look at Redcoin and since the 8th of August we have just had one stake here which is on the 13th and it's for 125.93 so that's one stake for red coin exclusive coin has had a few stakes so since the 8th of August I believe this was the last stake at 8 a.m. well it states 8 a.m. here and we're just gonna go through uh, there's probably gonna be looks like it's going to be about seven i'll do some calculations later so exclusive coin has been staking pretty consistently lately oops let's have a look at the arc wallet and we have two stakes so one stake here for 0 0.12 and another stake for 0 0.1 and Tezos, we haven't had any stakes. However, I have changed the delegate. So I believe the delegate that I was delegating to was full up. So perhaps it wasn't working too well. So I have actually changed the delegate. So we'll 
we'll have a look to see what's happening with this one a bit later. So this is our O3 wallet for NEO and Ontology and let's have a look at how much gas we can claim today. So we have got a 0.0263 gas that we can claim so I'm just going to make this claim now. And that's claiming and 2.65 ONG at the moment. I don't think we've claimed the full amount so I'll do some calculations a bit later. Moving on to Loom Network, I believe well, it says unclaimed rewards here, 4.556. However, it's still showing the same amount as last week, so I'm not too sure what's going on, but I'm gonna come let, claim this reward anyway. Let's see what happens with this one. And now it says rewards successfully claimed, however, this has not changed so let's have a look at refreshing so i'm not too sure what's going on with this one actually so i might have a look a bit later into it moving on to compound now compound is doing excellent at the moment it's we've earned 4.04 die so that's four dollars and as you can see the interest rate has actually gone down slightly and then it went up but it's gone down to about 10.79% which is still extremely high if you consider this to be a USD savings compounding lending platform it's just uh, a fantastic uh, interest rate and it's probably the most stable as well in comparison to if you compare it to all the other cryptos at the moment especially today when everything has got wrecked we have a total of 257.54 dollars here so that's it for these wallets let's move on so let's have a look at our trust wallet and have a look at our stakes in vchain and this is an amount of a veto that we've received which is 575.66 which is not too bad i believe that's about a 70 veto increase perhaps I'll do the proper calculations a bit later. Uh, moving on to Tomo Chain, and as you can see here, we've got 0 0.951. So it's been staking well. These two wallets are literally the easiest to stake these two coins because you just place it in your mobile wallet, keep it safe, and you can check up on it randomly. So very nice to use. Let's do our calculations. Here's the stakes we received on 15th of August 2019 exclusive coin at number one this week with uh, 90 cents, DAI at 61 cents, Redcoin at 18 cents, Tomo Chain at 9 cents, Ontology Gas at 7 cents, VThor Token at 6 cents, ARC at 4 cents and Gas at 4 cents. So here's the stake league and we have a die still at number one with a profit of $4.09, an ROI of 1.64 and a daily staking average of around $0.09. Cents. DAI is obviously doing well because with the crypto downturn that's happening at the moment, DAI is definitely the most stable coin and plus it's pegged to the USD. Shortly followed by exclusive coin and the newcomer who just went straight to number two position last week is doing extremely well this week also with a profit of around three dollars and fifty and roi of 1.4 and a daily staking average of around eight cents followed by redcoin at a profit of around one dollar and 23 and a daily staking average of around three cents per day and other notable stratus at 36 cents so this coin has taken a real beating uh, I'm not sure what's happened with this coin to be honest because I think we purchased it around 90 cents but it's taken over it's taken a real beating this coin but uh, other than that no other changes 
Episode 6 is now done. Thanks for watching everyone. Give me a thumbs up and give me a subscribe if you want to keep up with the weekly updates of this experiment. And you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram and go to the website alphacrypto.cc. And we have a new Facebook page at alphacrypto8 as well. Don't forget there's always 10 euros up for grabs. If you're a EU or a UK passport holder, you can grab 10 euros absolutely free with a KYC with Binance jersey. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.